Hello and welcome. This is MCQ question 21 to 30 for JAM 2016. We have already completed question 1 to 10 as well as question 11 to 20. Hope you have understood the concept of all these questions. And this is uh, the, uh, the last uh, leg for, uh, for question 21 to 30 that we are going to complete. And we have already completed NAT part. And hopefully we will complete soon MCQ or MSQ also. So that part will be completed. However, uh, the time is very short. You have to do hard work to complete all the uh, all the uh, all the questions also. So this is my request to you. Please uh, do mail me your problems, what what, what type of uh, problem you are facing, and how you are tackling all this uh, in your own way. Uh, let me help you how you are going to tackle all this uh, also. So without wasting any time, let's let's complete this part and uh, start our confident learning. This is the first question. This is a very basic question related to geological time scale. Uh, in Mississippi and in Peninsula belongs to which period? It is very simple case in Carboniferous. If you don't know about the geological time scale, I have already uploaded a video where you can go and check uh, uh, how to remember all this geological time scale with their uh, exact timing also. Moving to the next question, this is related to the engineering geology part. Let's understand the concept before going uh, going into the detail of this one. Let's see what it is telling. Gravity dam. Forget about the gravity or something like this one. It is a dam with east-west trend. This is a dam. This is east-west uh, trend. And what it is telling is to be constructed in a narrow valley. Forget about the construction, the park. And two north-south. Uh, these are these are two valley. It is north-south. Which one is the south? Let's check. The river is flowing from north to south. River is flowing from south to north. From south to north. So this is my south and this is north. This, this means this is your upstream and this is your downstream. Why I am telling you upstream downstream? You, you get to know. The lithology of the spread is 2 to 5 meter thick. Forget about this one. Lithology is not going to play here any role here. Which of the following geological condition will be most suitable? Bed in both the ridges strike north south but deep towards each other. Whether it is dipping here and here doesn't matter. Up in the opposing direction also, what it will relate it to, uh, it, it will uh, relate it with the dip uh, related to the dam axis. Let's check here. You can see if the bed is parallel and the water is flowing like this one, and then we have a resultant force uh, in terms of thrust and weight of the building. Uh, so it should be balanced by this uh, uh, this bed. Here you can say the bed is dipping toward the same direction as the resulting form where in this case it is dipping in the opposite direction. So as a common sense you know that this is the safest condition as compared to the uh, condition B. So what we need to know the bed should dip away from the means uh, towards the resulting force. This means towards the upstream side. So what we are looking for the upstream side. So the, my answer will be D. Very simple. My answer will be D. It should be the uh, upstream side as compared to do, uh, not to the downstream side. Moving to the next question, it is related to the economic geology. It is very simple question. Everybody knows that the copper. Where is will we find the copper? Copper is in Rajasthan, Khetri, and let's think it is very famous. Let's think is Rampura, Abucha, Magnes. We know that where we find the Magnes it is in Madhya Pradesh, Balaghat area, and bauxite. Everybody knows the bauxite we can find in Panchmati, Odisha. If, uh, uh, if you are wondering why uh, why the text is like this one, this all I took from Umeshwar Prasad book. It is very simply given there, and this is I took from the internet. If you are very familiar with the news, if you are looking for the news, and you are using your mobile internet in a constructive way, you can also read the news about the mines of India. Very simple, just type the mines in India. You will get all the details from the Wikipedia also. Please do read that one at least. And then, then go to the NCRT book. You will get a lot of lot of knowledge from there. Moving to the next question, uh, match the following stratigraphic unit. These are the stratigraphic unit. You can you know this Kambam formation belongs to the Kadapa supergroup, which belongs to the Protozoic. So my uh, I is equal to S. So where is my S? This one and this one and this one. My marine Jurassic Cretaceous. You know the Jessamel basin has been divided into three distinct classes. Jessamel. Baisakhi and Bedesar uh, formation. So my Baisakhi belongs to the uh, Jurassic. This means it is in Cretaceous uh, Mesozoic age. So I have second as Q. So these are my two options now. 
handle copily formation belong to genta series of assam it is in eocene eocene means paleocene this means my third is p so my option is b i am if i don't know anything about the baraka formation it is okay but you know the baraka formation belongs to the gondwana land and you know the gondwana land belongs to the permian and then we have paleozoic era so my option will be b moving to the next this is sedimentary structure and i have already shared the pdf related to sedimentary structure in my telegram group if you don't know that one please do let me know or mail me so i will share this sedimentary structure pdf with you with you so you have a good idea about the all type of sedimentary structure for your own knowledge i am going to tell you that the fluid gutter and grooves all are the erosional features we are not going to discuss in detail about this one with this pdf you will get all the information load structure as the name suggest it is formed by the load if you have the load this means we have the role of the uh, gravity if it is related to gravity it is related to gravitational instability so my option is b now moving to the next question it is related to paleontology uh, match features mentioned in group 1 with the fossil types in group uh, these are the feature and these are the fossils you know that excursion what is excursion uh, this excursion will be uh, Uh, we used to we used to take uh, name of excursion in term uh, with the lunule what is exactly is this one these are uh, the depression area of the dorsum located anterior to the beaks is conventionally known as lunule whereas the equivalent area in the posterior side is known as excursion so this will be in in which type of fossils we have uh, it will belongs to the bivalvia so we have bivalvia just like i to s so i am looking for this and this and this one please remember these are you are telling that it is very simple but for the paleontology part and for the stratigraphy part you have to read your book very carefully it is really all all these are related to morphology and it is somehow it is related to biology so you have to read the morphology day by day one by one so you will get the feeling of paleontology now related to plastron what is plastron plastron form from the modifier for posterior interambulacrum and densely covered with flat pedal shape is fine in echinodia so it will belongs to your r so second is your r so i have two option now uh, this a and b now deltrium is a triangular shape not shape opening in the wall ventral wall through which the uh, muscular pedicle emerges it is formed in brachiopoda it is in brachiopoda so this is my third is p so where is my third is p is b so if i don't know about the siphuncle so no problem i can go with uh, option b if you know the siphuncle it belongs to nautiloidia so if 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 you wanted to know about the siphuncle uh, it is this is a uh, strand of tissues passing longitudinally through the shell of the cephalopod mollusca and you know that it belongs to nautiloidia group okay so what i am telling to you just go through the paleontology book one by one even after the exam try to remember it will help you in future moving to the next question it is also related to godwana so time and again i told my aspiring students uh, to remember all what is there in the godwana from wherever you want to uh, you want to read go with the ms krishnan go with the ramin kumar whatever book you refer to and you wanted to read just just mug up for jam people please mug up godwana every time they ask a question in this one so if you have mug up if you have read this godwana uh, godwana history either flora or fauna you will easily came to know this tilo um, uh, tilophyllum is the answer no nothing is like this one no need to discuss more and more in this one so my option is uh, a is uh, tilophyllum so these are something i wrote it here from uh, ms krishnan so you can easily go and read that one if you wanted to note it down you also can note it down now moving to the next question it is related to your mineralogy texture part and in gate they have asked uh, this type of question every time in 2017 2020 all are theirs are, all are all these years are there where they have asked all this type of question so i do request you the jam student please do remember what type of texture are there and how they are formed you know there is a submarine eruption if we have the eruption under the sea it will form the pillow structure of pillow lava we simply call it as a pillow lava so i have option i Four is R. My four is R is either B or uh, C. So I have two options, C and B. And you know that what is perthite texture? It is formed by the exsolution of the lamina in the intergrowth of sodic and potassium. So I have uh, third is P. 
please my third sp is here also and third sp is here also i have to go another option like this one you know that the graphic texture is formed by the eutectic crystallization uh, it is there already explained in detail you just go and watch all that part i have third as i have third sp so this is my option third sp also is there so i what about the crystal zoning you know the about the crystal zoning is uh, something like this one fractional crystallization my third is s my second is s so i have the option b like this one even though if you don't know the option you have to remember all this either from the winter or from my own lectures it is there i have already solved all these questions there also please make a notes on this type of question they used to ask every year such type of question in gem moving to the next question this is very simple structure geology question understand the concept here i have a stereo unit here if you know if you know about the stereo unit concept in the center we have a greater depth as compared to the periphery where the dip is zero so uh, now here they are talking about the displacement vector forget about all this term it will get you will get confused to this one and you know that this 3d the stereo unit is a, a 2d representation of the 3d this means that the plane we can plot it as a uh, line uh, and the line can be plotted as a point so if i am talking about the line it will plot it as a point if i am talking about the plane it will plot it as a line like this one okay so these are the these are the fault plane and you know that the fault plane is dipping somewhere here like this one you can see this one and now what it is telling here we have normal fault normal fault then in that we have the displacement sometime we have a reverse fault in that we have displacement sometime we have strike slip up where we don't have the displacement so what do you mean by this one this displacement in terms of displacement vector this one a and b so here we have some displacement if there no displacement this means the displacement is zero if we have displacement is zero this means the displacement vector is zero if we have the displacement vector is zero this means the amount is zero but we have some direction so amount is zero here okay this means what the displacement is zero where we have the displacement zero in the strike slip fault simply the strike slip fault why it is a strike slip fault also we need to check the strike also that point falls on the on the fault plane this means the point is itself on the fault plane this means the strike of the point as well as the fault are on the same direction that's why uh, the strike of the fault and was uh, the uh, vector plane is in the same direction means on the same part this means it is a strike slip fault and the displacement is also zero you know why because it it touches the um, uh, periphery this means it belongs onto the per periphery that's why the displacement is zero here very simple even though how could it be vertical how you will plot the vertical form uh, fault here how you will plot the thrust fault how you will plot the uh, normal fault here it is bit complicated you can plot but it is bit complicated and this question belongs to the jam so it is bit easy or bit tricky if you even don't know the concept of this one you can simply click there it, it might be a strike slip prop because it is very close to that portion now moving to the next question this is last question very simple question we have to know the coordination number of the alpha quartz which, which is low pressure polymorph of quartz and uh, is tissue white which is a high pressure polymorph of uh, polymorph of uh, what we call it quartz so in all low pressure polymorph as well as uh, coesite the silicon atoms are surrounded by four oxygen atom so we have coordination number 4 for low and for the tissue white it is the coordination number is 6 if you minus this one you will get two so these are my option so what you have to do the now you can tell me sir how how much we have to remember all this again and again so i will suggest you at least remember the important polymorph like quartz uh, corundum and uh, feldspar all these at least you have to remember the polymorph of all these and their coordination number so you will not miss any question in that with this we have completed the mcq 21 to 30 i request you to do study as much as you can if you need any help from my side do let me know i will help you as, as best of my capacity and if you like this video please share with your friends and subscribe the channel i will see you again in next lecture uh, for now thank you bye bye